Okay, I've just received the Q119A sequential controller from synthesizers.com and this is going to be kind of a road test. Um, the great thing about it is that it's got all of the features of the Q119A which would be about that wide in a four width module uh, and of course space is always at a premium in the cabinets. Um, it's a three by eight sequencer. You can also change it to one by 24. Um, the outputs can be plus and minus five or zero to five. That's the way I've got it set up. And it can cycle once or cycle repeatedly, sequence up and up or up and down. Uh, it's got a built-in clock very handy uh, with two ranges. Uh, you can also go to an external clock. Uh, it's got these great red buttons that they use for the uh, envelope generators that have a great feel to them are easy to work. Um, it's got a master output with a glide on it. I'm taking the outputs, individual outputs, from banks one and two. Uh, bank one is going into the Swiss Daisy DSP which is functioning in voice plus delay mode. So I've got uh, a single sawtooth oscillator, uh, Moog ladder filter, uh, VCA, and an envelope generator. Uh, plus I've got a digital delay with delay time, feedback, and uh, wet dry or mix. Finally this controls the decay and the release of the envelope. Speaking of envelope, I'm taking that out and driving another VCA for my second voice, which has this oscillator, um, the VCA, and then I'm using the envelope as well for the pulse width so I can get some timbral control over the um, voice. So let's do this. Let's um, start the sequence and I'll turn down this voice, voice two. I'll bring in the second voice. 